When we left Niue and sailed to American Samoa, we had a list of things to do. As a sailor, you always have a list, but our mission here was mainly to buy groceries, do the laundry, buy some spare parts, do some work on board, among others. It's been raining on and off all day long. <laughs> we did not find any of the parts we needed, but we were hoping for better luck in Western Samoa, which we were planning to sail to in a couple of days. I need some water. It's raining. You can get as much water as you want. It's hot. Hot and humid. You find what you're looking for? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Something else. We need to find a big grocery store. Grocery store to get supplies. Like a whole new person. Yeah, just get a haircut. Yeah, really beautiful. Yeah, so let's take a walk. Yeah, and the sun is out. Sun is out. <laughs> We really enjoyed the buses in American Samoa, which were local built. It seems like they had rebuilt trucks and pickups and added wood or metal to them. During daytime we could find them everywhere and they were really cheap. The only bad thing is that some of the drivers play really really loud music and it's almost hard to think, even harder to speak to each other. One day we took the bus to the end station and back again. It's a great way to explore the island and you can just jump off and on whenever you want. Laundry day. Are you bored? A little bit. We've done uh, five laundries. Now we have to dry it. Two of them. And uh, the rain is pouring down. Anything you want to add? Yeah. I got, we got the free Wi-Fi here, so that's why you're busy. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> the laundry place was a bit far away from the anchorage, and we went back when we thought the rain was getting better. We had bad luck, and when we walked a few minutes, it started to pour down again. <laughs> Will you please open the bags and let's see if it's still dry. This is a small hole in it, but I think it's... Yeah. I find it. Have you been swimming? We've been walking for uh, 30 minutes each way from the 
back and forth to the laundry and it's been raining. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. But yeah. we when yeah. we were five minutes away, a car stopped and pick, picked us up. Two really friendly guys yeah. stayed here for missionary for some church. Yeah, I think it's Tia Tia and Johnson. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I can't remember the church. No. What are we having for dinner? I don't know what the English word for that is. It's uh, this. I don't know if the word for cold or stupid. That is like vegetables, oil, and milk, and uh, sausage. Yeah. And the uh, weather is uh, insanely heavy rain and strong winds. find out that uh, more or less 70% uh, of the uh, people on, the, on the America Samoa work for some kind of government. Yep. So, um, and they usually go home by lunch. Yeah. And do you know, we, we have paid at the immigration office and we're going to pay at the Harbour Master and at Customs. Do you know what we are paying? No idea. <laughs> We're paying a lot of money for uh, just fees for some reason, and um, yeah, we have to go to we have to visit like uh, five different authorities uh, to clear out and clear in. So it took us more or less all day to clear in, and now it takes us more or less all day to clear out. Yeah. There's a lot of um, paperwork to do. Yeah. <laughs> After the clearing we went to a few different supermarkets and the next morning we started to sail towards Western Samoa. Hello. Hello. Can you tell us where we are now? We're at Samoa and we've been waiting for the authorities for one and a half. One and a half day. And now we given up so we try to find the custom offices. Yeah. We had a health health inspection. He was here like three hours ago and he said that the customs will arrive shortly. But well one and a half days. Too much. Yeah, so <laughs> we want to go ashore. <coughs> some things when we as well. So yeah, but it will be hard to find this. But it's looking quite good, and it's the first time since Panama we visited a marina, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of nice to have shore power and and water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We had the custom aboard after we went to their office and then came along. But immigration still haven't showed up, so we have to walk yeah. over there. It's the building with a round thing on it. We'll probably find it. Did you find the immigration? Uh, yep, it's there and the tourist information is over there where he wanted us to go and uh, complain. Not really complain but um, enlighten them about the uh, trouble they have to uh, answer uh, sailors when they arrive to the port. Yeah, they need help to get 
this in order. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they had some trouble sometimes with the communications. The customs and immigration never got the information that we had arrived from the port control, so we were glad that we decided to go ashore after the one and a half day we waited for them in the boat. A few hours later, we had to take a taxi back to the boat since Oscar could not walk anymore. How do you feel? Not so well. Hmm. I hurt my back. Yeah, again. And I can't move. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, this feels like I get from my friend Bjorn. It's pretty strong and I'm gonna stay here for a few days so that I can move again. Yeah, I can carry you down to the bed. He has had problems since the summer we left Sweden and sometimes it comes back really fast. Luckily this time it went away very fast too and two days later he were on his feet again. We just went to the American Embassy to... Um, we had some question about the visa because we we're planning to sail there in a year or so. And um, As well, it turns out we had to wait two months here before we can apply for a visa and then they will send our passports to America and back so they will take us more than three months to get a visa. So yeah. we're, not, we're not gonna do it here but perhaps in South Africa instead. Yeah. We're gonna apply for a visa. We here. could get an interview in two months. So it's not even sure that you get a visa after that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Next place. <laughs> Next place we have to do. Yeah. Alright. And uh, where are we going now? We are heading for a place that sells uh, PLG bottles for um, propane bottles. Uh, and they are supposed to have uh, the composite bottles. So we are going to look for that. Yeah. I think we have been looking for that since we left Europe almost. Yeah. And uh, it's been so expensive. So yeah. let's hope it's reasonable prices now. Yeah. There is um, a cap. Okay. We went for a drive up to a small village, but when we reached the address we found online, there were no store there. Yeah, what, what kind of sizes do you have on the Pokemon? Our taxi driver talked to some people in the village, and luckily they knew the former owner and told us that they had moved. Even better, they were friends with the owner and they had their phone number. The nice people called them for us, and then Oscar talked to them and we got the right address, which was now in a totally different village. Is it Christmas today? Uh, mm. It's almost Christmas since we <laughs> got a whole of these composite bottles here in Samoa. We, before we used a um, small um, uh, European uh, camp gas bottles, which fitted in the locker there, but uh, uh, since they're not refit uh, refillable here anymore, we had to buy new ones in Panama. So we bought this uh, 20 LB propane cylinder in Panama, and this, I mean, this rusting a lot. So. Here in Samoa we got these propane bottles which is made of composite and glass fiber, I think. Yep. And uh, they won't rust and they will be refillable hopefully in Asia and other places around the world. So heads up for all of you guys that plan to sail around the world. Uh, make sure that you buy these bottles before you leave your home country because that's going to be a lot more easier and you don't uh, get to trouble with all the rusty cylinders that you can uh, get a hold of uh, around the world and also I would recommend you guys to buy a convertible kit. It's a um, it can be bought in several different countries around the world, I think. And uh, then you can bring your propane tank that you already got from your home country to refill in any other country around the world. So that's my uh, advice for you guys. Yeah. And now we won't have to polish the boat all the time because of the rust. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice. And it's um, it wasn't uh, expensive either. This was actually really cheap. I think uh, they came. Uh, the prices for these bottles was half of the price compared to Sweden, and uh, they were full when we bought them for yeah. half of the price. So it's, uh, it was a really good deal. Yeah, that's why we haven't bought them uh, like in the Caribbean because they were too expensive. Yeah, I think mm. uh, we paid less than one sixth of the price here in Samoa compared to Caribbean. Yeah, so finally we got some. <laughs> finally. Yeah, and we can get rid of this one. So when we arrived at American Samoa, uh, we thought we would find the same market there that could help us with it, some uh, damage we have had on the sales. But as it turned out, uh, the same market wasn't there anymore. Uh, but luckily, when we arrived in Western Samoa, there was some other guys there that could help us. Yeah. 
And the trouble is that we have threat spreaders on board uh, on this boat. And uh, even though we try to preserve the sail as much as we can when we sail downwind, there has been over the time some um, damage on the sails. And we also have some foam up in the spreaders to, to preserve the sails even more. But yeah, that's it's how still it is. Still patching it some, it's some small holes. <laughs> some small holes. So, um, so, yeah, we were lucky to get in touch with them. That was lucky. Yes, very strong. <laughs> so when we get the sail back, there was some <laughs> new uh, trouble with the sails instead. So uh, in the end, I uh, joined the guys and we helped to clean up the sails together. So that was good. Yeah. Single, what's that mean? He's single, yeah. Um, he, need, he needs a girlfriend. Ah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And also the, the one with the beard, he needs a girlfriend too. <laughs> and I think the other one with the hip, I, I don't know. Maybe he's single, maybe he's interested. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> They made some stains, but they really fixed it afterwards. Yeah, it's been a mess. Uh, we left the sail for repair, and uh, the guy didn't. Um, yeah, there was a mess. There, there was some oil on the sail, so we had to clean it. So it took us a few hours to clean it up, and uh, so. But I think it's all right now, and we can put it up again. So. Yeah. And the guys are really friendly. They just did a mistake with the sewing machine since there was leaking some oil, and it wasn't really. I mean, when you get stains on the side, it's really hard to clean it up. So, but yeah. it's sold out. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, and it's Saturday night, and it was six men mm. who helped. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. It's a hot day to stay inside, don't you think? Yep. It's too hot. But it's 39 degrees now. <laughs> Uh, the internet is gone. Oh, you really can't use it anymore? No. And we have to uh, take a look at the procedure for the upcoming uh, islands. Mm. I think it's. Come back soon, maybe. Mm. It's been fairly complicated the last past the destination we went to, and I think the upcoming destination is going to be kind of complicated too with the cruising permits and clearance with the customs and everything there so yeah uh, but we really hope the internet will come back because uh, we're making a video and uh, we should upload it here because I don't think they're gonna have much internet further north no I don't know that. we'll see we'll so see episode 27 from the Marquises all right that's what you're working on <laughs> How's it going? Uh, it's going great. I just um, emptied the oil from the engine, uh, changed the filter for oil and uh, the diesel. And I have to change the CAV filter, the oil in backstay, and also the impeller. So it's kind of messy here, but um, I have some cleaning to do, and it's 
really, really hot here today. It's 40 degrees Celsius, so it's not the best day to do this, but we have to. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this episode, even though a large part of this video is about what we consider to be the boring part of the life as a sailor. In the next episode, we will show you more from the nature in beautiful Samoa. If you consider becoming our patron, just click on the logo in the end or follow the link below. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We hope to see you next time.